Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're putting this turbo in this truck. Stay tuned. What we got right here is a Garrett GT 378 VA. It's a stock replacement for this early model 2004 6 liter power stroke. In a previous video, we removed the old turbo, and in this one, we're going to be replacing it with this guy. The mailman finally dropped off the V bands. This blue one is for the downpipe. You can see the serial number, and this red one is for the uppipe. So if you're following along, these are official Ford Motorcraft V bands. We're going to be installing this turbo, and it's basically going to go in the same way the old one came out. Um, for reference to that, take a look at the video. I'll link it in the description. But what we're going to do is drop it in like this and try to When we get it here, what we want to do is take our oil drain with new O-rings and position that and it's just pressure fit in the hole. We have the old oil drain back into place and what we need to do is you can see here there's a notch in the pedestal here and it's hard to see a notch in the pedestal there and there's these pins on the turbo that need to place into that notch as well as your drain right here going into the turbo got the turbo sort of in place and you can see i got the drain it's close to where it needs to be um, but first what i'm going to do is slip on the new v bands and what i'm going to do is make sure on the down pipe i want the nut facing towards the engine compartment slip that on before i get the turbo too close into place and then for the hot side back there same deal i'm going to have the v-band kind of pointing up at an angle and it's actually going to um we're going to reach the socket over top of the turbo to reach that so. okay we got the turbo sitting on the drain got this pin sitting in the pedestal and we got this pin here sitting on the pedestal i have my v-bands loose but in position and see they're gonna i'm gonna spin this one back so i can get it from the engine bay and this one like i was saying earlier you can access from above the turbo i actually spin that back a little bit more like that so let me grab the tools and We'll put the bolts in the pedestal. Don't forget there's that third bolt around the back. And these two. Got the heat shield off of the old one and it looks like getting two of these bolts will be easy the third one may prove to be challenging so 
we'll start with the easy ones and see where we want to go with the hard one. Be right back. All right, got the heat shield back on. Not that difficult in the truck. Third, third bolt is back here and you can reach it with a ratcheting wrench. It's not too bad, just a little hard to get the screw started if you have big hands. So let's move on with our install. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find this is our VGT solenoid connector, and we want to make sure that gets unplugged or gets plugged in. Excuse me. Next, we will take our oil drain and we will install our oil drain up there. I have a new uh, gasket, but it gets a paper gasket. Don't forget that. All right, we got the oil drain back on. Now we're going to install our cack tube from the cold side to the intercooler.
Okay, we got the CAC tube back on and at the intercooler. Installed the intake first, then the overflow coolant tank, and then the air filter. Got the radiator lines, coolant lines back up. I think we're ready to see if she fires up. That's a wrap on our 6 liter power stroke turbo replacement. We got the truck up to temperature and drove it around the block. It's clear that the new turbo has fixed our problem of power loss and turbo lag. Stay tuned for more videos and if you like what you see, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.